Hi friends, Adarsh here. So today we're gonna see how we can uh, use Spring Boot for file upload. So I have created a sample application already, and uh, we're gonna I'm gonna give you a code walkthrough of that. So starting from pom.xml because this is a Maven based application. So, so we have. We have all standard uh, tags here, group ID, artifact ID, version, packaging, this is a web application, so packaging is a jar and then we have a spring boot uh, starter parent dependency, then followed by organizational tag, licensing tag, developers tag and uh, repositories and we have bunch of report repositories there. Uh, we have a property tag here, inside property we have application name, source code, include, encoding, java version, JUnit version, SLF 4J log 4j then here come the real dependency so basically <coughs> it's a spring boot starter web dependency spring boot starter test geonet slf 4j log 4j and then in the build section we have a war file name output directory then resources tag then followed by plugins so in the plugins we have ma uh, standard maven compiler plugin as well as spring boot maven plugin which create the exe so let's go into the code so we have controller here <coughs> so in the controller we have a we have auto wire the environment variable and then we have a default request mapping which gonna give us an index index page and then we have a upload so in the upload what we are getting we are getting a upload file multi-part file and uh, we are getting the original name of the file and then this this thing we have configured where from where in the application properties this directory so we are reading the directory name and then we are creating a path where we need to down upload the keep the uploaded file from the client side and then we are creating a buffer output stream then file output stream then creating a file object with the file path and then whatever the streams we are getting so those streams we have we have write the we have written the multi part file into that stream and then we are closing the stream if something wrong will happen then it will come to the catch block otherwise response in the once it will come to the catch uh, catch block that uh, response status will be a bad request and then if everything goes fine response http status is a okay means 200 successful so this is our application class main class so it has an annotation tag of spring boot application so in this we have not kept a rest controller it's a normal controller so it, it will not produce output of uh, html or oh, sorry json or xml then we have a main method here and then we have a static in the resources we have css bootstrap css js css uh, sorry bootstrap uh, js and then jquery js and this, this is our own custom js file where we are changing checking the state of this element in the form and if it state changes then we'll call this upload method on that uh, state change which gonna do a ajax call with this url getting the data from this multi-part form and sending back and sending the status to this div with this message and this is a bootstrap css class if everything goes fine this will be file up file upload operation successful and the alert success will be set as a class type or if something gonna wrong then file up file upload operation is unsuccessful followed by alert danger so this is our html page we have imported a, a bootstrap css and js and our own custom js file then we have container and then followed by some div this is this is a form this is a this is the id for the form and then this is the label and input is a file type is a file and it accept all type of characters so we so what we gonna do we gonna just test it and clean install so in the application.properties file 
I have kept other uh, multi part max size will be 100 and multi part max request size will be 100 MB. And this is something banner dot uh, location. So banner usually you will see that uh, we'll get a spring spring logo here when Spring Boot application starts. So here in my application we have East Park Innovation Lab followed by Adesh Kumar. This banner will come as a part of booting process. So Indian clean we have done spring boot colon run so all all the uploads for the file we go to this location this upload folder so <coughs> So here Tomcat started on port number 880. Here if we scroll up the log so we can see instead of spring here I am getting the Spark Innovation Labs Adashuma. So let's hit the browser and check the application. So this is gonna hit the controller and get the default page index and once we choose the file here. So this is a big file. So I have tried to upload the big file here. It's a smurf movie so it says file operation unsuccessful so i'll just refresh and i'll, I'll say i'll load this java wallpaper so it says file operation successful and i can see java wallpaper on the server so this application i'm so like the all previous application I am going to save this application into the same location Adesh Kumar Singh 83 Spring Boot in the GitHub so you can see my all applications are already there so you can pull it up and play around with that so I hope this will help you uh, thanks for watching